Welcome to Tecmo Tuesday once more. We are in week number 13. It's the second to last week, the penultimate week, the second to last game of the season. We're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers who have Super Bowl aspirations. And uh, this is for, I mean, I don't think we can win the division with a, well, we can if we win and both the Lions and Bears lose. And I'm not paying attention to the scoreboard here, so I don't know if anything good or bad has happened here just yet. Uh, we won't see anything official. All right, so yeah, all these games went down already. And the Lions won, but the Bears lost. So we we also won't... 295? I mean, in all likelihood, I think if we win, there's a very, very slim to none chance that the Lions could win by enough points and then we lose by enough points that they would catch up to us. So this looks like a, uh, a situation where a, a win is a uh, clinching of the division. And probably also the bye. Uh, the Cowboys look like they have their division wrapped up as well. As I don't think that the um, the Cardinals can reach with their differential situation, even with uh, uh, winning out and then the Cowboys losing out. You know, Rams are only a game up. Uh, Raiders are two games up, and you know I'm doing all this shit. Yeah, they're two games up. They're probably going to win it. The Steelers are one game up, and if we win, we will uh, knock them down a peg. Bills are only a game up. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about all this shit. We still got, you know, the rest of this week to play, including my own fucking game. So here we go. It's Pittsburgh. This is a this is going to be a test, because this is one of the top teams in the conference. And, I mean, no game is ever easy, and even the ones that look like they're going to be easy on paper turn out to a lot of times be the exact opposite. So, <clears throat> and then sometimes you go and you, you know, you shut out the, one of the top teams in the league like we did last week against the Raiders. So, just in case anybody missed last week or if uh, didn't uh, catch it, uh, I'm, go I'm doing a six-team playoff. As normal, I was I left it up to debate whether or not to. Um... All right, I got a pick on the first play. I was like, I I knew I stopped talking there because I knew I might be in on that play, and sure enough, I was. Um, what I would have done is I would have I would have forced victory, a uh, forced victory, forced a victory to the teams that would have been in the top four in the in that wild card round and set it up so it would have been a four team playoff based on who was in the top four, but, you know, whatever. I'm just, the, the voting was said otherwise, so doing the 16 playoff, and that is a nice pass and catch to Owens, and we are first and goal right away. All right, I made a guy miss. Made, uh, well, we got, they got a good... Yard out of that. That was uh, a lot of shucking and moving and uh, weaving and wobbing and and now we're gonna get sacked here. Nope, we're gonna get actually made the catch and kind of got a touchdown out of it. Wow, I really didn't think I was gonna get that ball off. So it took us all freaking day last week. It took us to the third quarter for either team to get a touchdown, and now here we got one on the first drive. So that is definitely a change of pace. And you know it's 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 crazy how things work. You know they uh, had a had a losing streak going, and uh, you know we got off of the losing streak. Uh, you know you know in a crazy game against Cleveland, and then uh, and then uh, you know had a. a a very solid win to fo I'll follow that up. So, Ready, down. Hood, 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 hood. it's just the the peaks and valleys of a season. Oh, and that went to Blair. I remember there was somebody I worked with who was uh, his name was Rocky. He uh, was uh, named after Rocky Blair. 
just a piece of random useless trivia. And that was a completion in tight coverage. <clears throat> Ah, uh, and the Steelers are moving the ball. This is not gonna be, uh, you know, like I said, it's not gonna be a gimme game here. Oh, I took, I, you know, that that sucks because I had the guy that was, I took him away from the uh, the middle of the field. <clears throat> I took, well, I took him away from that part of the field and brought him into the middle, and that did not help. Took him right away from where the damn off tackle run was heading. All right, so we got a good start of the uh, midfield uh, field position. Get good. We get a good start of field position at midfield. What the hell am I saying? All right, look at this. We got McKay streaking down the sideline for the touchdown. We just answered right back. You know what? We'll do it in one play. Fuck it. Yeah, the defense will be tired as hell, but, you know, uh, we'll have points on the board. So, whatever. Just a way to get... Say, hey, do it again. Right away. So, we already, in one quarter, we outscored ourselves from the previous week. It's just funny, because Pittsburgh was definitely a, you know, a... De uh, a defensive team at this time. I mean, they did have a strong offense, too. They had a good running game. They had really good receivers. But their defense was, like, you know, was the, the stronger part of that team. I mean, there's Mean Joe Green... Getting off track here. I gotta. It's so many Hall of Famers. Lambert was another one. I, I, again, I know I gotta pay attention here. I'm over here pontificating the glory days of the Steelers for some reason. I fucking hate the Steelers, and um, you know, I gotta do a job. Hey, you know it's what it is. I took a risk there. I took a risk by sending my safety. It's like I anticipated and read the that that was going to be a run up the middle. I just fired my safety in. And that time I hesitated, and as a result, they got the first down. But, you know, I didn't want to give up a big play. If they had, if, if that was a play fake, I would have been fucked. They do have a play action uh, in their arsenal. I think it is a run to that side. It looks like it's uh, the bottom part of the screen. That's a terrible pass. Like, just, it's so uh, high risk, low reward when you throw a short pass to a guy who's blanketed. In all likelihood, he's going to get tackled behind the line. And meanwhile, Blair's going to blast through it. Holy shit, he's fast. And that is a touchdown. Ugh. Man. It's going to be one of those kind of games. Man, that's the second time that we had a uh, almost block. You know, I as far as, you know, the the playoff format and whether or not, you know, do the four team or the six team situation, um I wasn't really, I was very much on the fence. I did not have a preference one way or another, and I'm getting sacked by Mean Joe Green over here. Ugh, you know, I, again, gotta, I'm, this is the end of the first half here, and I'm over here going on about bullshit. Oh, shit. All right, there we go. It's Williams who was shaking defenders off like it's going out of style. All right. Oh, no! Come on! Oh, no, you have got to be kidding me. He's taking that the whole fucking way. I'm the last fucking play of the half. 
Oh. And I was thinking, like, we had a chance to kick a field goal on that. Like, maybe we get a little bit closer. Because we were in territory. It was looking pretty good. Like, we were on our way to getting into scoring range. But then he goddamn fumbles. All right. Well, we got to get that one back. We got to get that one back. I'm trying to double dip, and I'm not even going to get a single dip. Anyway, so... <clears throat> What I was getting at before my little rambling was that I didn't have a, really a preference as to whether or not to go for the four-team playoff or the two... Uh, the, Jesus Christ, I just got murdered over there. Uh, whether or not to do the, you know, six-team or the four-team. I liked the idea of being authentic with it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're doing it this way because, um, for one thing, it'd be like, you know, if I had it in my head originally from the start to do it to change things up... Then that would have felt more, you know, like I'm not messing with things. I'm leaving it the way that it is, even if it isn't totally authentic to how the 76 season would have been. Alright, come on, make this accurate. Oh, God. That's what I was worried about. The deep passes sometimes at Spurrier, he throws it way too fucking far. Nice fucking punt, though. Not so much with the coverage, though. Damn. Alright, well, alright, D. Let's get out there. Let's, uh... Put a stop to him. Goes out to Blair, who had the touchdown reception last time. Just caught a short, pa short pass like that. I don't think it was the same one. But he did catch a short pass and just obliterated the defense. Just ran right through everybody. And there he is again. He's... Oh, fake me out of my pads. And I dived. I dived. I dove and missed. And he takes it all the way to the fucking house. Oh. Mm, man, that just goes on my ass sideways. Man, we were up 14 to 7. And within a few minutes, it's 28-14. Not done yet, though. Come on, guys. It's not over until it's over, as Yogi the Bear said one time. I don't want to abandon the running game quite yet. So we'll get fucking <laughs> tackled five yards behind the line on our run. Gotta get move on here. Gotta get that momentum back. And throwing an interception is not gonna do the trick. Oh, man. Boy, this game has swung. It has swung. That fumble definitely, you know, just changed the fucking ebbs and flow of this one. And now Franco Harris is gonna do it to his, uh, his turn with a nice big fucking run. Oh, man. When it rains, it pours, you know? Look at that, and Franco gets a nice five-yard pickup there. Oh! I, tr I did not try to d dive at him either. I was looking to... Uh, I, I, I thought I had gotten a hold of him, and then I started tapping the buttons, but instead I just... I whiffed badly. And like I said, when it rains, it pours, and it is fucking pouring right now. Man, what a miserable third quarter. And a miserable end to the first half that led into it. So, I mean... <laughs> this is uh, a tall order here. To, uh, to mount a comeback, I'm going to have to score quickly. So I'm throwing bombs at this point. And I also need... Well, I need to not be covered by... Uh, you know, everybody is covered. Just gonna launch it and hope for a diving catch like that. All right, that's a good way to get the train moving. We gotta score. We gotta kick it outside. We gotta score. We gotta kick it outside. Yeah, it's like just the chances are are so 
absolutely remote that it's not even worth talking about. But you don't give up, you don't surrender. That was the lamest pass of all time. But you know what? You know, it's, it's whatever. And it's fucking third and goal here, too. There we go. <clears throat> you know what it was? It was when I made fun of the... I didn't make fun of the Steelers' defense, but I pointed out the fact that we were doing a good job against the, the Steelers' defense, who is, you know, very formidable, is, like, one of the best defenses of all time, definitely as far as longevity goes, That the whole, the whole fucking decade of the 70s. Oh, shit, I kicked off. I meant to onside it. I was not paying attention. Whatever. You know, like, the, uh... I think we have a better chance of forcing a fumble than we do getting an onside recovery. I mean, I'd have to... I'd have to recover three onside kicks. That's... I have a better chance of... Uh, of banging Scarlett Johansson than I do of... Getting three onside kicks in a row. Plus, it would have, you know, it would have set them up in much better field position. They would have scored a touchdown at this point, and then it would have just humiliated us even more. But you know what? Instead of that, how about we humiliate ourselves even more than that by having them drive all the way down the field and scoring on another big play? Boy, I, I tell you, the life just got sucked right out of us with that fumble. That was the, uh... That was the turning point. And it's funny because it's the opposite of what happened. We had a game earlier in the season where we had, uh... We had gotten a, a, a touchdown at the end of a half like that. I think it was against the Browns where... You know, it just made the big... Made the difference. In this case, it wasn't like, you know... It, I don't think that... It, on paper, it looks like, oh... That play doesn't matter that much because the score was so lopsided. But, I mean, the thing is... Boy, this is really gonna affect uh, Spurrier's quarterback rating today. Uh, the thing is, is like, it does have an effect... On the flow of the game. And I don't... I, be, I mean, Tecmo is so weird like that, I think that it's a legit thing. That even though this is all just, you know, digital players, they don't have uh, strong AIs or a mind of their own, really, but it seems like these kind of things that take place in real life, like the... Oh, come on, I did not dive! All right, they got him. I, I didn't want to give up another touchdown and just further that humiliation. So that was a rough one. Uh, man, two yards rushing. There was, I mean, there were a lot of plays. I'd say more than half of those runs were blitzes, where they called the play and tackled them five yards behind the line. So, you know, we did not have, uh, we did not have our running game going. We actually did uh, better passing. Well, that, we did do better passing. We, we, uh, we had more yardage passing, but lower completion percentage and more interceptions. And, uh, you know, not as many touchdowns. That's another thing. We definitely... It was a tale of two halves. <coughs> First half was even, even though we, uh, you know... We, we, we went down 21-14 due to that fumble at the end, that crazy play. The game itself was even. But the second half was a different story, and I think that fumble really changed things. Alright, let's finish the rest of the simulations here. So... You know, we're not going to see, you know, even though it's one week left, the game only recognizes the 17 weeks as, um, and a 16 game schedule. So we're not going to see the graphics, you know, pre uh, the, the, the little presentations of who won the divisions until we get to the, to that 15th, 16th week when, uh, cause like, for example, who has it here? I don't know. They, uh, yeah, like, Pittsburgh cannot... Cleveland cannot catch up to them. 
they can only get there's only one more game and they're down two games but the game still kind of thinks that it's a 16 game schedule that's the way that the it operates it's still you know it's it's not operating under those procedures so you know but really the Steelers clinched the division with that win and as far as us goes we are in a deadlock tie with Detroit now so we definitely have an advantage with they have a 30 point plus point differential and we have an 81 so it's more likely than not that um, you know, unless we win by one point and they win by like 60 points, some shit like that, they're not going to catch up to us as long as we win. But if we lose and they win, big difference there. And we're playing the Patriots who are also, you know, they're playing for something here. They're playing for, um, you know, the, a chance to, a, a remote chance to, uh, to take the division away from Buffalo I don't think that it's realistic, though. They're, you know, they have a plus fifty-five point differential, and the Bills have a plus ninety-nine. So yeah, that's that, that's basically out the window. But still, you want to go into the playoffs with some momentum. Raiders are a game away from clinching the West over the Broncos, but it's looking like, yeah, like there's no chance that any of these other teams are going to come back. These are the six teams, the the two in the uh, top teams in each division. The Bills and Patriots will get in the playoffs. The Steelers and Browns will get in, and so will the Raiders and Broncos. That's it for, um, yeah, that's it for the for, for the AFC as far as the NFC goes. Uh, Cowboys, Cardinals, Bucks, Lions, Bears, and then Rams. So yeah, seven wins. I guess it's possible. Well, let's see. With the 49ers, could maybe they catch up to the Bears? They're right now, they have a 9-point-plus differential. And the Bears have a 20-point-plus point differential. So if they lose and the 49ers win, it's definitely a chance that the 49ers can sneak up there and take that sixth, sixth spot. But other than that, it's pretty much deadlocked. Um, you know, Lions, Cardinals, and... Um, and then the three teams on top of each of the divisions in the NFC all are in the playoffs. Like we're we're in the playoffs here. That's definite. Even with no matter what happens, if we lose, we're definitely not missing the playoffs. And then the same would go for um, for the uh, and I think that the Rams too. Like they're not gonna lose the division to the 49ers, even if they lose. Um, it's just an unlikely point differential situation none of the other teams have a chance so that's it there's one more week we're playing against the patriots um the let's see the lions that's a that's one to look out for um their first game against the rams that's another big that's another matchup of playoff teams too so go rams uh but it will make things interesting if the lions win it gives our game a little bit more purpose because uh you know, we're, we'd be playing for the division, so it would, it, you know, I'm not, it would definitely add something to it, especially since the big difference is, you know, if they win that game, we got, if we win, we'll get the bye. Maybe even home field if the Cowboys lose, but it's, it doesn't look like it. But it's, that's a huge difference, is you know the, the difference between playing in the first round or not playing in the first round is a big thing. And with all three of the Tecmo seasons I did before, no matter how good I got those Colts teams to be, could not get past the Bills. So this could be uh, the first time we win the division in Tecmo Tuesday history. So that's it for this week. Um, you know, big week next week, and then we'll move on to the wild card round. So until then, I'll see you next week.